Hey guys, Mubarak here of Penny Stock. Hope you're doing well. In this episode, I want to talk to you guys about some of the up and coming Web3 crypto projects that are out there and really just want to show you guys the right way to analyze them and find the right one. So this isn't investment advice in any means. It's purely educational, but given my decade of experience in investing and trading, you know, first in the stock markets and normal blue chip and penny stocks, and then now in the crypto world, I feel like I've been able to kind of carry over a lot of the working rules and success stories that I know to be able to kind of identify the projects that stand out. And that's kind of why I want to talk to you guys today about Smilecoin at US. Um, and Smilecoin is, is the kind of essential decentralized app. So DAP, you can see here. And really what they've successfully done is that, you know, you've probably started to hear about the play to earn PTE games that are coming out in the blockchain world. And what's happening is that a lot of them are having trouble with whether with the cryptocurrency payment system that they have or with their kind of in-game exchange, auction house, marketplace, you know, whenever, you know, think Counter-Strike or games like this or Fortnite where you're buying um, the skins or buying just different like design attributes and things like that. Uh, but, you know, that, that creates almost like a, a payment processing or like an in-game money system. And so what these guys are doing is that they're taking the technology, the required SDK software development kit, um, and they're allowing every kind of gaming app or platform to be able to automatically unlock the power of Web3. Um, and so they have a few different aspects of the business that they've been able to successfully do. And so, you know, we're going to get right into it. And all of the links will be in the description below. But I would, I, you know, from what I've seen, there's kind of three major parts. And, you know, they're still growing. So depending on when you're watching this, they'll probably have more. But the three major parts of the Smile Coin token are, one is their prediction engine, which is, you know, being able to use Smile to earn cash, harvest coins, and get rewards by predicting crypto markets. And so that's something that we're going to get a bit more into more detail about. I just want to kind of highlight the three main focuses of the project. Um, so the way they're doing that is through here, is through their Grin um, app connection. All right. Then the second one is essentially the funding of their accounts and kind of like think about it like your bank account or your side account essentially for your gaming apps so it allows you know you to be able to track all of your transactions and your game assets across multiple different crypto games so you know where you stand how much money you've spent all of that so the smile wallet is basically the extra level of technology that allows you to connect to gaming platforms so you can take a look at the profits you're making, the rewards you're winning, the tokens you're getting. You know, can, you can track all your gains across the platforms of the network so you can manage all of your gaming transactions. So that's really the cool thing about it is that, you know, you don't have to worry about like, oh, I have points in this game and money in that game and in this app. It's kind of all kind of centralized into one ecosystem and one platform. And so let's get a little bit into more about the, uh, the the way that the kind of app is set up and the white paper. So a lot of these links I'm going to put at the bottom, but what you always want to take a look at is what's referred to as the white paper or the light paper. And so here is the Smilecoin Network light paper. And essentially it's a PDF that breaks down exactly what the company does, what the application or decentralized network or decentralized application is meant to do and really lays down the basis behind the project how it got started so i definitely recommend before you get involved in any project before you get involved in any crypto um, or DeFi blockchain technology that you go through their white paper or their light paper so that you understand what you're getting involved with right how does it work um you know this is just a stepping off stone they don't give you everything you know but it's 12 pages has some good information. It's definitely worthwhile to browse through and get a fundamental understanding of what problem they're trying to solve and how they set it up. All right. So you can see like it's one single global gaming currency. So you don't have to constantly, you know, have Fortnite currency and this currency and that currency. It all kind of 
just allows you to have one main that goes across all of the different games that you might be playing. And it's really good. And, and I think the reason I think it's going to be successful, um, regardless of all the multitude of features that it has, is because of the decentralized payment processing for gaming and the no code SDK that they talk about in their homepage. I think this is the most powerful technology out there right now that's going to get them widespread adoption because, you know, a lot of games and a lot of, you know, blockchain gaming companies, they want to focus on the game, gameplay, the story, the players that they don't necessarily want to have to think about all of the special requirements that comes with payment processing and blockchain integration. And so in this scenario, their no code SDK that Smilecoin is offering is going to allow these blockchain companies and gaming companies to then get involved um, and be able to set this up with a few clicks of a button that otherwise might take, you know, weeks or months of uh, dedicated engineering team to just build within the game itself. And so I think we're going to see a lot of companies pick this up. Um, and I think it's going to help the Smilecoin get a lot of good traction. All right. And so the next kind of very important thing that I like to make sure of is just understanding the technology and the people behind the game. So this kind of breaks down all of the different features, all of that. But um, and you can kind of take a look at to see how to buy it. Uh, I think this is a really cool feature that they have that they're being sold to MEXC. And um, there's all these different marketplaces that you can buy it on. So Algorand, Green Gaming, Bitmart, Amazon Smile. So this is pretty insane too that it's getting to this level um, to be able to kind of work in that fashion. But as always, you know, you definitely want to check out all of the different aspects of their website, of their team. You know, what I like to be able to see and getting understanding of is like, who are the founders? All right. What's their backgrounds? They have their LinkedIn's, they have their hashtags, they have their discords. Um, so you can actually know that people are putting a face to it. They're what you call it doxed you know, meaning they're identified. They're not trying to hide behind fake avatars. You know, they're real people with real families, real jobs, real backgrounds. You know, this guy's a patent holder with companies like Apple, um, you know, trained machine learning engineer, high frequency futures. Um, you know, this guy knows what he's doing. And then this guy, this guy's probably the brains behind it all. And then this guy ha is kind of the designer of the technology guy, CTO style. Um, but, you know, you, you want to keep an eye and track all of these different aspects and features. And then these are the different types of partnerships style that Smile is working towards. So you can see that they're focusing on a B2B type approach, too, of, of being able to kind of, you know, it's a pretty bold claim that they're saying that you're, you're going to be treated and handled better than even PayPal does. And obviously you guys know PayPal. You know, everyone in the world knows PayPal. It's a billion dollar, multi, multi billion dollar company. And so these guys are trying to replace that and be that blockchain counterpart to be able to handle that for gaming companies um, with their no code payment solution. So that's why, you know, this level of technology, this level, it just makes sense. All right. Sometimes when you're looking at a cryptocurrency, when you're looking at ICO, blockchain technology, you're not really sure who's going to use it. Or why it, it makes sense and if you ever feel that way you know get out immediately that means that it's not a good one and 95 percent of these cryptocurrencies or icos that are coming about they're garbage but when you have real case studies real solutions that this software or this decentralized application is solving you can feel a lot more comfortable knowing that you're going to be having a legitimate setup and a legitimate company that's going to take and go the distance and not just kind of you know, burn out from marketing PR. So those are my thoughts personally. Um, as always, if you do have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Leave a comment below uh, and I'll link in the description below. But you can reach out to us at admin, that's A-D-M-I-N, at mpennystock.com. Hope to hear from you guys soon. Take care.